but we did feed on it. And I talked about in the winter time, we rotational. We rotational feed in the winter time, and so we pick pastures that we think need to be uh, improved. And if it freezes, even on my alfalfa ground, if it freezes up hard, we'll put a bunch of cattle on there and we'll feed and we'll watch the weather. And if it looks like it's going to thaw, they're off. And we'll put a lot of animals in a short, small area. And as long as the ground's frozen, there's no growth going on, we see very little damage. And uh, even on some of our sub-irrigated hay ground, we'll feed in the middle of winter when it freezes up. Um, and we like to feed. We have this theory that every pound you take off, you should replace that pound. So if we hay a piece of ground, we like to put, feed all that hay back on that piece of ground. It's um, idealistic, maybe not realistic, but it is. So I think that's the end of my presentation. Hey, you want to take questions? Oh, yeah, sure, sure. Thank you, enough light. <laughs> yes, you're beating the straw with your uh, uh, alfalfa there. Did you increase your grazing days, or did sure. you just keep moving on three days? Yeah, the, the, the question was when I fed the straw, was the, well, actually we fed it on the clover. We didn't feed on the alfalfa, feed on the clover. Do I increase the grazing days? Yes, we do, because they're making up half their ration with straw. The trick is on the spreadsheet, you've got to compensate for it. So otherwise it gives you false. So then it gets a bit more complicated and I've got to, that's probably the next addition to the spreadsheet is have a simple place to enter the hay in there. But the hay has to be subtracted out of the, out of the grazing days on the spreadsheet. But it does increase. The one thing about clover is you don't get the tonnage that you would with a grass, or it doesn't seem like the tonnage. So, um, so that tonnage goes down, we throw the straw in there and it levels, it tends to level out. So the, the pasture sizes are the same, the rotations are the same. But do I complicate the question? Questions? When you say straw, what are you referring to? This was uh, this this straw we're feeding this year is barley chaff right behind the combine. So it's actually it's, it's actually it's almost cow feed. I mean, you can almost winter cows on it. It's pretty good. But we've fed CRP hay in the past. But I'm not you know I, I get a little nervous about what I feed out on my good pastures you know as far as weeds. But if you've got a good stand of grass and and it's just like Morris was talking about, if you've got good regeneration going on, weeds struggle. They really do. In fact, we have never sprayed, except for that one time, we never sprayed a thistle in those flats, and, and there was a lot of thistles in there. And, and uh, I was hoping to outlast them, and we did. It, it only took a few years before the thistles, and we had um, rat tail fescue, and that was a bad grass. And it was a, it was a field man one time says, you can't compete with weeds if you don't have competition. You know, you need competition, so you get, Get your grasses going, and then worry about your weeds, and, and they went away. A lot. Of them. But that is one concern: feeding on your on your pastures. Well, thank you.